Hi everybody. I hope that this is actually working. I'm still trying to figure out how this works. Um, but I just wanted to get in here uh, and do a quick check-in with everybody only for a couple of minutes. Um, and this time I just want to talk a little bit about an experience that I just had a few days ago. Um, as you all know, we are pretty much the entire world is in um, quarantine because of, well, what's going on. I don't want to say the word because I don't want this video to get um, to get deleted. But um, I was actually walking out to the supermarket a couple of days ago to get some additional supplies. It's one of the very few things that we're still allowed to do and uh, or that we're still supposed to do. And um, one thing I noticed is that as I was walking um, on the street to get to the supermarket is about four blocks from my house. Um, pretty much there was a few people outside and everybody that was outside was sort of getting out of my way. So everybody was, you know, taking a few steps back to follow the six feet uh, social distancing that's going on pretty much, I think, all over the world. Um, and what, while that is what we are all supposed to be doing, what I expect them to do, what I would want to do for them, um, or what I do for other people as well, um, it actually surprised me and it actually saddened me and it may, it gave me a little bit of fear. And that's the reason why I wanted to do this quick video and to talk and share a little bit about that experience for me because what it made me realize is that we are slowly getting used to this idea of being physically disconnected or physically separate from other human beings and also even from pets, right? Because I'm a dog lover and every time I see a dog, I have to pet it and I'm not even able to do that now because even though they say animals are not carriers, even though that seems to be changing by the minute, um, you know, owners get uncomfortable. So I try to be respectful of other people's, uh, you know, space and what the rules are. So, um, so I've refrained from doing that as well. But I actually notice how we are all getting so used to this idea of, you know, being away from each other physically. And uh, it actually really saddened me and it actually is pretty much the most fear I've had throughout this entire uh, process. And I will tell you why. Um, I think in that moment I realized, for, I, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with these ideas of creating habits. There is this science about how you create habits and how your brain processes the creation of new habits in your life. Um, and the standard belief is that um, your brain can create a habit within 21 days of repeating a particular behavior. So after 21 days, it becomes a habit in your brain and then it sort of, it can become a part of your day to day life and that thought crossed my mind and it made me remember that we've now been doing this for I think it's been 20 days or just about we're at the cusp of those three weeks um, and that actually gave me a lot of pause and it scared me a little bit because it made me think about the possibility that we would get so used to this idea of preventing, um, you know, trying to protect others and ourselves from uh, from getting something, a disease in this case, um, this particular virus, that we'd get accustomed and used to the idea of trying to stay physically away from each other. And even as I'm saying it now, I'm actually having a lot of emotion related to that. Um, because it just makes me feel really sad, this idea that we are further and further disconnecting from each other. Um, so I just wanted to share that experience here because, you know, a lot of these videos that I do are about advice or, you know, just talking about what things, what are hap what is happening and what my thoughts about it, about these things are. But um, this is something that I just wanted to share with all of you, what I'm how I'm feeling about this particular situation and what I'm trying to do to make myself, you know, understand myself, get centered and really gain perspective about what is happening. And, um, and if those are helpful to you, then great. Um, I hope they are, but 
there's a few things that cross my mind you know I really um, took some time to do some shadow work and if you don't know what shadow work is you can you know look it up here on the Facebook page or you could go to my website and get more information or do a quick Google search um, but I was doing some shadow work around that to try and get to the um, you know the deep core of my fear around it and that was actually very fruitful and very helpful but I also started thinking about a few other things that I can do. Um, and one of those things is to really make more of an effort, more of an effort to deeply connect with the people around me. And right now we cannot do, you know, we're, we're at this social distancing. Uh, we have all this social distancing restrictions. So we don't have the ability to necessarily, you know, have social events or hang out with friends or family or a lot of loved ones. But um, we still have phone. We still have internet. You know, most of us, a lot of us are lucky enough that we have solid internet connections and we can have Zoom meetings and, um, you know, WebEx or whatever it is, technology that you have. We have the phone, which is what we used to use when I was growing up. Um, and so I really am trying to commit to make more of an effort to deeply, deeply connect with the people that I really care about, even if it's someone that I'm not very close with or someone that I haven't talked to um, in a while. So try to make an effort to connect with them and, you know, talk about the sort of things, talk about my fears, about their fears, about what I'm doing, what I want my life to look like, and real things, real things, things that are really important. Um, and then there's sort of a couple other things that I'm trying to do. I'm really trying very hard to stay grounded. Um, which, uh, for those of you who are not familiar, again, information you can find online because I want to try and keep this short. But, um, but one of the things that I'm trying to do to get grounded is, you know, just make sure that I'm doing a lot of yoga and a lot of physical movement, activities that require physical movement, a lot of dancing in my house like a crazy person to 80s music and to reggaeton and all that stuff. But, um, but also trying to go outside in nature. I have a small patio here in my property, so um, I'm trying to go outside, and a, a great idea is to walk barefoot on the ground, you know, on sand or ground, because that really allows you to connect um, to nature in a very primal way. And I think what's really important for us right now is um, in these times where everything is about social distancing, is to try and connect with each other as best as we can while respecting, you know, the rules and also trying to connect with nature as much as we can, but also try to really deeply connect to ourselves. Um, and I think those are things that we have been forgetting over the last few decades, maybe even centuries. And at this time is something that is important for us to remember. And we have plenty of time to do it now since most of us are inside and cannot um, venture outside very often. So I think that's it. I just wanted to share that, share a little bit of my experience because oftentimes I come and do these videos and the ones I do in my YouTube channel and they're about, you know, sharing information, but also giving advice and tips and things like that. And this is more about me sharing how I'm feeling and my experience going through all of this. So I hope this was helpful or at least somewhat enjoyable and I will talk to you soon. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.